All right, I'm here today to show you how to make a Hackintosh. Um, there's very, there's a lot of different ways of making a Hackintosh. I'm going to supply a lot of uh, web addresses below to uh, show you places that you can look and uh, find rant, uh, parts out there to help you build a machine. Um, well, I'm gonna get started on what I have built. Uh, it's a very simple machine, 775 socket, uh, E6600 processor, uh, just random power supply, DVD drive, uh, DDR2 6400, two, two gig sticks of memory, um, normal optical drive, um, and a 240 gig Vertex 3 solid state hard drive um, that I put on there, which made it pretty fast. Um, of course, that's up to you on what parts you wanna use for that. Uh, the most important part, though, is the motherboard. Um, want to uh, read through some of these websites and try to pick out what's the best for you and what might be the easiest because this can be a pain in the ass and you can be you know pulling your hair out um, doing it so uh, let's get started with the show any devices like a uh, floppy drive um, stuff like that that's not actually installed and it's in the BIOS just turn that stuff off then in the boot priority, you want to make the uh, DVD CD-ROM drive the first priority so you can boot off the disk. Uh, make sure you turn on the uh, USB um, keyboard and mouse support um, in the uh, BIOS. You want to make sure you want to turn that on or it will not work. The AHCI, make sure that is turned on. You have to have this turned on. My motherboard uh, did not have that option. I don't think, I didn't see it. Um, so I'm automatically assuming that it was set to that. Um, make sure that's turned on because you don't want RAID turned on or ID mode or anything like that. You, you need to have it set to that. So make sure 100% that you have that. Uh, when you boot Empire, you're going to see Darth Vader on the screen. It's a pretty cool picture. Um, you're going to put in Snow Leopard and then boot off the disk. Um, when you do that, you'll see a whole bunch of code come up. All right, you're going to see the Mac screen come up. You're going to plus uh, whatever uh, language you are. Um, of course, I'm gonna press English. You're gonna go to Utilities, and then you're gonna click on Disk Utilities. You're gonna wanna go to Properties, uh, Volume Scheme, um, One Partition, um, and then you can name it whatever you wanna name it. Um, I just named it HDD. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure that it says Mac OS Extended Journal. Mac OS Extended Journal. You wanna make sure that is selected. And then go down to uh, Options, um, Guided Partition Table. Make sure that is selected, Guided Partition Table. And then you're going to hit Apply. And then hit Partition. It'll take a little bit of time, and then it'll go through. All right, after it does that, uh, just go up to the top left, uh, Exit, and then hit Install. This will take a little bit of time. I'm going to speed it up a little bit so we can get to uh, what we're trying to talk about. Uh, success. Before you restart, put in the Empire disk and uh, then hit restart on the computer. Um, when it does load up, uh, you will go over to the Apple symbol and uh, press enter or F5. Alright, successful. Now you're going to want to close. Um, you're going to go up to the CD to the top right, click on that. Go to Extras, um, Post Installations, and My Hack Installer. Um, you're going to hit continue and uh, continue again, continue again, um, agree, um, continue, and install. Uh, password if you put one, if not, hit OK. And I'll close out of all these and uh, wait for it to install. This will actually allow you to restart the computer into Mac without it asking for disk or not booting correctly. There you pretty much have a Hackintosh. There are uh, kecks that are involved. Uh, they're like drivers for PCs. There are a few websites below. Well, that was pretty much it. If you want to build a uh, Hackintosh, um, there are a lot of parts out there um, to make different machines, uh, i7s, i5s, i3s. Um, and there's a lot of different uh, software to help you achieve that. Um, just read through all these uh, web pages that I put below. Um, just go through them and uh, pick out the best one that you want. Uh, make sure you get the correct parts now because there are a lot of uh, extensions to, like for example, motherboards like uh, P6T SE or P6T, P6T Deluxe. Uh, make sure you get the correct one if you're going off with someone else's information. Last thing you want to do is get the wrong one and the BIOS doesn't match up and 
you have issues down the road. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, just uh, post them below. Um, any advice, post that below. Um, I'm new to this too as well. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. So if uh, you, you have any questions, just let me know and uh, I'll talk to you later. Um, next video um, is gonna be about a submerged uh, aquarium PC. Um, that's gonna be cool. I'm gonna get that done, show that to you guys on how to. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. How's it going, people? This is Bayou Bob, and I'm Seminole Joe, and we're gonna teach you how to make moonshine. Okay. All right, this is what you're gonna need for uh, making some mushrooms.